How can you calculate how many days you have in one month? In January of 2023? In September of 2024? In May of 2026, for example? This question can look like a little silly and easy to answer. But when you are in Excel, how can we do this math? How can we calculate how many days you have in one month? Here in Excel, maybe it's not that easy to see that solution. But when you get there, it's easier to do again. So here, to do it, we're going to need to use two functions, basically. The first one is the day function, and another one is the EO month. The day function, it's take a date and then returns only the day of the month, for example. We're going to see it with a practical example. EO month, it returns the last day of the month. So let's take here a practical example. I have a cash flow here of my company. I have all the incomes and all the expenses. If I add up all these values here, I'm going to get this total value right here. This total budget, $3,000 for example. But let's say, what is the total amount that I can spend in one day? What is my daily budget? How can I do it? Do you know the daily budget to make this math? I need to know the total budget. Okay, I already have this, the total budget. And I also need to know how many days I have in the month that I am currently in. And then I need to divide the total budget by the quantity days, the total days that I have in the month. That way we're going to have my daily budget. But here is the problem. How can I calculate how many days I have in one month in Excel? Because it can change. So I can't do it manually, for example. Okay, this current date, this current month that I mean, I know that I, is, that I have 31 days, for example. Okay. But in the next month, but in the next year, for example, I can't do it manually over and over again. I need to make a function, a formula to help me out to automate this task. I can use here the equal sign EO month. This function right here, I can double click here, one, two. And now the first thing that I'm going to do is select here the start date, the date that I'm going to use as criteria, as start point. Okay. And then comma. Here are the months, this criteria that EO month function is asking me. I'm going to type it in zero because I don't want to add any other months to the, the current month that I have here. I'm going to explain it later, okay? And then I can close parentheses and then press enter. Here we got in a numerical way the last day of this date that we have here. To make sure we can just put this result right here in a correct format. For example, I can select it and then I can go to the home tab. And instead of using number, I can click here and use, let's say, short date. Okay, so here we got. So the last day of the August of 2023 is the day 31. So we're done basically. And I can use any date right here and I'm gonna get the last day of this month and year that I just input here before, okay? And uh, let's say, as I said before, if I change here zero to one, for example, I'm gonna press enter. It's gonna give me as result the last day of the next month, okay? So here we have the, the eighth month and here we have the ninth month. So let's come back it and use the zero instead. And if you pay attention, we already know how many days we have in the August of 2023. We have 31 days. But in some way, I need to just extract this 31 and read it off and delete the year and the month, for example. We can do it through the day function. Okay, so equal sign just here. I'm going to type it in day and then I'm going to double click here. One, two, and my serial number that I'm going to use is all the EO month function that is within my day function. And then I can close here parentheses and then press enter. Here we got already the correct result, but we need to change again the format. So let's click here and then home tab. I'm going to change date to number, for example, and we're done. So this month right here, the August, have 31 days. And if I change, let's say, uh, February 1st of 2024, for example, or 2025, enter okay 28 days now of course i can calculate here my daily budget so let's change again and use the current date as a function today double click here enter okay 31 days now to do the daily budget is equal to equal sign and then the total budget divide by 31 days enter and if you also pay attention whenever the current dates change so the next month or so on so on the days of this month is going to automatically change for me and my daily budget is also automatically changed for me. And of course, my total budget, whenever I change any values here in the list that I have to the left, whenever I change any values here, 
my total budget is going to be automatically updated too because I'm using here a function, the sum function, to add up all these values right here. So we basically done. This is how we can calculate how many days we have in one month, for example, in a specific month. We can do here another examples. Here we have August 7th, 70, 2023, September 25, 2023, and so on, so on. So if I want to calculate how many days each one of these specific months of a specific year has, I can use the same function as before. So equal sign days. We're going to do it again just to make sure we can memorize this function, okay? So equal sign day and then EO month. Double click here, one, two to select. The start date is going to be this date right here to the left, comma. And I want to use the same month as the date I just select. So zero, close parentheses, close parentheses again, and then press enter. Okay, so 31 days. I can click, hold, and drag it out here to the now right corner of the cell. So click, hold, and drag it out to make sure all the rows contain the same function. And yeah, we're done. Now I know how many days we have in each one of the months of a specific year, for example. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, any suggestions, any doubts, comment down below, let me know, and I'll see you tomorrow because every day has a new video.